It has been 11 months since Purple Lamp Studios have showed us anything on SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake, and we finally have some footage, some gameplay footage, after a full year of announcing this game. And it is a 3D platformer confirmed! Huzzah! Even though I had no doubt that it wouldn't be. Uh, today we are going to be going frame by frame of every little detail that is inside this game. References, gameplay, movesets, and enemies inside this game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a deep dive. Opening up the trailer for us is Spongebob and Balloon Patrick approaching in on our big boy Gary. And this environment and aesthetic in this level, it really vibes with me. I love how it's a boss stealth mission of sorts and how absolutely menacing Gary is here. It gives me the same vibe as the Patrick boss fight from the previous game. The music here is absolutely amazing. I love the expressions on SpongeBob's face and the buckets full of references here are gonna take some time to go over them all. A lot of people are saying that this is a brand new level, but I don't know, I could make an argument that we have seen this level in a previous trailer. I think this level is a Halloween rock bottom bit, only because of a few similarities. First off, this place gives me the same vibe as the museum in rock bottom. Halloween is all about that candy, which we do see plenty here, and it also helps that SpongeBob turns into a snail in the previous trailer as well. It just seems like there's a handful of parallels suggesting that this is the same level. Now, I could 100% be wrong about that though. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at SpongeBob and Balloon Patrick. We got our first reference. The costume that Spongebob is wearing is from the episode Krabby Land. It's Spongebob's summer costume. I love that they're making all these deep cuts to all these costumes in this game. And to put a little more credence to it being a Halloween level, it also kind of reminds me of the stop motion Halloween episode where Spongebob dresses up as a flower. I know they're different, but I'm just pointing out these small details. It's unclear if these costumes grant Spongebob any special abilities. I'm willing to assume that these are just costumes. I really hope that the costumes aren't required for certain levels and we can wear whatever we want inside this game. Taking a look at Balloon Patrick, he's got a little tied up part here on his leg. I think that's a very fine detail, it really sells the idea that he's a balloon. As far as Patrick goes inside this game, it looks like he gives you a few hints on where to go. He's found hovering over items that seem important, like the candy vending machine. Maybe he might help fight in this game, but honestly, I'm having a hard time telling. I'm just glad to see plenty of Patrick in this game. I like how the two work off each other. Okay, next let's take a look at the references in this area. The first thing we stumble upon is Larry. This is a snail who first appeared from the episode Dumped. There's also a lot of snail references here in this area. We see a realistic photo of Gary on this wall over here. I don't know if we've ever seen that from the show. We also see a photo of Dream Gary. This is from the episode Sleepy Times. We see prehistoric Gary from the episode Ugh. Big Booty Gary from the episode Two Square Pants or Not to Square Pants. And I believe King Gary from the episode Rule of Dumb. There have been plenty of times where Gary has been crowned king, like the second movie Sponge on the Run. So this could be a reference to almost anything including here in this game, where he has a big crown that he plays with. We also briefly see Snelly over here from the episode The Great Snail Race. Last one I'll point out is Grouchy Gary from the episode Once Bitten. The main object you're attacking in this area is Candy Machines, which has a very striking resemblance to the one in the episode Rock Bottom. We have a good look at an enemy function in this area as well. The bubble type enemy, when attacked, splits into two. Kind of like how slimes do in Minecraft. I really enjoy this environment in this level. It feels very Gary. You'll find many books on the walls which Gary is seen enjoying in the show. I also like how this little pedestal climbs up as the fight continues when you end up on different levels. This boss fight looks like it's going to be a very good one. But that's enough of Gary's area. Let's move on. Next area we have Spongegar, who stumbles across Squidward's clarinet. This place seems to be the same place from the last trailer we had, but we do have two different Spongebobs here. The Spongebob in this level is Spongebob from UG, and the one from the last trailer is Primitive Spongebob from the episode 2B129. These two Bobs are different Bobs. I still hope that we can play as both in this game. This is also our first appearance of Patrick in costume. He's dressed up as Patar, and right after that we see Squog, though they do still call him Squidward. Both of these characters are also from the episode Ugh. It's interesting they call him Squidward. It's either an oversight or maybe it's the person that we're saving in this level. Uh, remember, all SpongeBob's friends got sucked into these areas and it's our job to save them all. I have no idea who these three are who steal Squidward, but notice how Squidward catches the jellyfish and throw them at the girls and SpongeBob pits it up. I believe this could be a power up that SpongeBob acquires in game. I also think there might be more to this cutscene. It's kind of edited together strangely, but I love that they all speak caveman talk. We wipe to SpongeBob, sliding level confirmed. We see the mini crabs everywhere. 
also from Ugg. They latch on and I'll assume that you'll need to shake them off somehow. You can also faintly hear them say, money, 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 like they did in the episode as well. Next we see Spongebob rolling down a hill of lava, or jam or something like he did in the original trailer. And this whale guy in the background, also from Ugg. He's a creature that wakes up Spongegar in the morning. Next up we see two sea bears. These are a reference to the camping episode in Spongebob. It is interesting, yep, probably unrelated, seeing the circle right next to them. In the camping episode, in order to protect yourself from a sea bear, you would need to draw a circle in the dirt. We have a little fighting section next, and it's awesome seeing Spongebob squash and stretch of this fighting moves. It looks really fun. We also see a brief cartwheel. This is a move that Patrick could have used inside the Spongebob Squarepants movie game. If Sandy and Patrick aren't playable inside this game, it will be fun to see Spongebob with a bigger move set. We also see a new character. This guy swings a bathtub around. He also has a bra on that kind of looks strikingly similar to Mermaid Man's bra. This character looks like you would need to hit him two or three times to destroy him. We next see these platforms, these Venus flytrap kind of guys who close their mouths when you step on them. And gliding SpongeBob using the Krusty Krab pizza. This is a reference to the pizza delivery episode. He also glides using that pizza in that episode as well. And I am so glad that they threw the Krusty Krab pizza inside this game. Throughout this trailer, we also see SpongeBob collecting these little pebble things. I assume these will be replacing our shiny objects. Next area, we see SpongeBob wearing his karate outfit and it looks like that he has a dash attack kind of similar to sonic's dash attack there's also a gold coin up here we don't know anything about the collectibles inside this game maybe this will function the same way as a socks or golden spatula does but maybe that's a stretch spongebob dies into these balloons with a photo of his foot on it the balloons rise and we will need to time our dashes with said balloon we also see two other enemies this one that kind of reminds me of the hammer from battle for bikini bottom in this guy firing projectiles at us. If you look closely, SpongeBob fires a bubble at this guy, trapping him. We have another move, and to be honest, I didn't catch it till my fourth or fifth viewing of this trailer. In the next section, we see two new enemies as well. The blob thing that screams and you'll need to stand away from him. He also looks like he's wearing the Krusty Krab hat on. The other is a charging enemy. Once he charges and hits something, he'll leave himself vulnerable to attacks. This section also prominently shows off the Tiki's making their return. So far, we've only seen the standard wooden Tiki and no other Tiki's have have made their debut. These windows, might be a stretch, look like they have little acorns on them. That and the amount of Sandy in the last trailer, I bet this is the friend that we'll be saving in this area, but that is just speculation. After that, we cut to Pearl. She was missing from Battle for Bikini Bottom, so it's great to see her here as well. She has a clipboard and a headset on hand, probably part of the crew that is helping shoot this movie. Her shirt's a little harder to read, however. I heart... Larry's something? I can't read the full thing. Seeing her head in this position reminds me of the old memes of her. This kind of character is hard to translate into 3D. We also see the coffee bowl on the left, which is a very obscure building in the show. I believe first being seen in the episode Picture Day. I'm a huge fan of coffee, so it's fun kind of seeing here. I've heard a handful of people saying that these three sections are different levels, but I do believe that these three are still the same. I think it's a movie filming studio. You'll be jumping from different movie types in this level. It also helps that the same music is playing in this section and he's wearing the same costume. I just believe that this might be the same level. The only other thing to note in this level is the cardboard. I figured it was just a low budget prop for this low budget movie, but in the very next world we see it as well, so maybe the cardboard plays a bigger role in this game. That's a great transition to the Nets area, the wild west of jellyfish fields. I love this little area, Spongebob dresses up as a cowboy. A nice little detail I like here is when Spongebob glides with the pizza bots, you can see a little pizza peeking out. It's a great detail. It also looks like the pizza glide has a limit, much like how Sandy's lasso did in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Spongebob lands on mystery and a sign in the background says Manaphy, no idea what that's a reference to. As you ride Mystery, you can give her a little kick for a little speed boost. The next little bit here is a blink and you miss it. Mr. Krabs is riding the train with a big burly mustache and all. It's the same as the art that Purple Lamp showed us as well. After SpongeBob falls back down, you can see a fish with a sign that says, get your juice. And it's dream stretch, but this could be the golden spatula of this game. The website does say something about wish granting 
mermaid tears, so maybe this juice is actually tears. Again, I'm really reaching here because I have no idea, but maybe this is what Spongebob is collecting to return Bikini Bottom back to normal. That's all for the trailer, but I did eagerly want to show off some photos that we can speculate a little more as well. I've seen this photo floating around on the internet. It's Spongebob in the cuddly crab uniform, which is from the episode Bossy Boots. I love that they're finally using these costumes in game. It was also recently used in the Minecraft Spongebob DLC as well. In total, we see four worlds of the seven, the four being Halloween. Halloween Rock Bottom, Western Jellyfish Fields, the Downtown Bikini Bottom Studio, and Prehistoric Times. There is a little more art, and if we go based off the costumes, we might be able to speculate about the other three. We see Larry in a pirate costume, Spongebob has a knight costume, and Mrs. Puff has a marshmallow costume. Speculating based off of these three, maybe there's a pirate theme level, a candy level similar to the Cut Patrick Dream level in Battle for Bikini Bottom, and maybe a medieval level. Again, that's just speculation on my part. But that is more or less everything that I seem to notice from this gameplay footage. Let me know if you notice anything or disagree i would love to talk to you guys inside the comments also there was a alleged release date for january 26 that walmart had leaked inside their little store or whatever so hopefully we'll be getting it within a few months I, i'm very excited to play this game thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in another episode mm, goodbye